Hi there, this is Gianna from the Charts team. For this demo, let's walk through dashboard permissions, how to share visualizations, and schedule reports in Atlas Charts. To start, dashboard permissions determine the level of access Charts users have to a dashboard and the actions they can take on it. The available dashboard permissions include viewer, author, and owner. Viewers can open and view charts on a dashboard if they have permission to access the underlying data source, but cannot edit or modify the dashboard. Authors have all the privileges of a viewer, but can also add, modify, and delete charts, add, edit, and delete dashboard filters, change dashboard layouts, and rename the dashboard. Owners have all the privileges of authors, but can also manage dashboard permissions and delete the dashboard. Now let's get started. Charts provides flexible options for sharing visualizations across your project, organization, and publicly. Charts grants permissions to a dashboard to individual users, all users in your project, all users in your organization, and any user with a dashboard link. In a single action, Charts grants users the ability to invite all users to their project to view their dashboards. To share your dashboard, Navigate to the specific dashboard you want to share, hover over the permission icon at the top right of the dashboard, or click the share button, and give specific user permission on the dashboard. For more information on dashboard permissions, read our documentation linked below. For this demo, I'll allow access to my movie sample dashboard to all users in my Atlas organization. To do this, I'll first navigate to the movie sample dashboard, Click the share button and then navigate to the organization tab. From here, I will now toggle on the switch to the right of my organization's name to on. And in these two clicks, charts will now provide me with a link for users in my organization to view my dashboard. After clicking close, Charts now saves your changes and also allows you to see shared dashboards in your organization page. Let's take a look at that now. After giving this page a second to load, you will now see the available dashboards on your organization page for your Atlas org to view. Now let's move on to scheduling reports. Charts project owners can create, edit, and delete schedule reports for their dashboards. A schedule report automatically sends a snapshot of dashboard data to a group of users at a regular frequency. If you're on a free tier, you can try sending one scheduled report. If you're on an M2 cluster or higher, however, you can create up to 100 reports per project. To create a scheduled report, first navigate to the dashboard you want to generate a report for. Click Schedule in the top right corner. And now a new report dialog box opens. Here, configure your dashboard report by providing the following information, a name or subject line, a recipient list, and an optional message for the body of the email. In addition to recipients having a link to the dashboard and charts. You can choose to attach the report as a PNG or PDF for quick reference in the email itself. Lastly, you can set a schedule of daily, weekly, monthly, or quarterly report frequency or send a one-time report. For this demo, we'll send a test email. We'll name it daily activity and send it to myself. Once everything is set up, we can find a report in our email. For users who schedule dashboard reports more frequently, we've created a reports page where all reports can be managed. To learn more about scheduling dashboard reports, check out our documentation linked in the description below. Here, you can see our daily activity report that was recently made, the dashboard link, the report creator, 
the medium, the attachment, the frequency, and the status. And also, the next time a report will be sent. Now let's recap everything we learned about Atlas Charts and its dashboard capabilities. Dashboard permissions dictate which Atlas users have access to a dashboard, and there are different dashboard permissions that give users different privileges. We also reviewed how to share dashboards with an individual person or with your entire organization through the Share Dashboard dialog. Lastly, we created a scheduled report and sent out a test email. Now it's time to share your own visualizations with your team and schedule your first report today. Thank you for tuning in.